On this episode of China Uncensored, China's great and glorious Photoshop fails. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. China has been Photoshopping since before it was cool. Before there was even Photoshop, actually. For example, why let a perfectly good historical photo of Mao be ruined just because this one guy later got purged from the party? Delete? This happened a lot, actually. Back then, they used airbrushing to uh, edit the historical record. Unfortunately, advances in technology don't necessarily make people better at what they do. So here are five shocking examples of Chinese Photoshop fails. Number five, floating officials. You know, Chinese officials are busy. They don't have time to, you know, visit places and do their jobs. That's where Photoshop comes in. Here are some such hardworking officials inspecting a new highway in Sichuan. Yeah, no one was fooled by that. Nezens mock the bad photoshopping by showing that they have better skills than the government. The Guardian called it one of the worst doctored photographs in internet history. But I'm guessing no one at The Guardian saw these next four. Number four, doctoring the elderly. The story is these officials were supposed to be visiting the oldest woman in Ningguo City. Then the local government actually tried to pass off this photo as real. But like this official's legs, the government's attempts to doctor the photo are pretty transparent. Why is this old woman so tiny? How does anyone decide this looks okay to publish? Eventually, officials admitted the image was doctored. Shocking! That they admitted it, that is. In an official statement, they said the image was fake, but they did really visit the old woman. And other photos emerged showing that, at least at some point, they did. So why the fake? Well, according to the statement, the photographer wasn't able to take a picture that could fit all the officials and the elderly woman. I mean, you know how hard it is to take a photo of five people at the same time. So they had to fake it. But that doesn't explain why they had to fake it so poorly. Number three, copy and paste Africans. A state-owned enterprise in Shandong province wanted to commemorate the beginning of their Angola infrastructure transformation project. But rather than hold some kind of actual ceremony and take a picture of it, they instead opted for the Photoshop random Africans in front of their company banner. Number two, parks and recreation. So you may have noticed that a major part of being a local government official is going out and inspecting things. And these guys may just be the perfect local government employees, at least according to Ron Swanson. He shows zero initiative. He's not a team player. He's never wanted to go that extra mile. Tom is exactly what I'm looking for in a government employee. And this Photoshop job is just as incompetent as the government ought to be, according to Ron. I guess no one in the government noticed that this guy's whole body is as big as this guy's torso, which is also as big as a tree. It's about as good as my annual inspection of Hollywood, New York, birthday town, and space. And finally, number one. Well, hey, that's not too bad, actually. It more or less looks like these officials are actually there. Oh. These six officials in Shanxi are overseeing the destruction of fake alcohol. And it's true. That's definitely fake alcohol. So what do you think of the Chinese government's Photoshop fails? Do you think you could do better? Prove it. Download the photo in the description below and show me your Photoshop skills. I'll post the best ones on my Facebook page. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. On this episode of China Uncensored, with Brexit, China just hit the propaganda jackpot. War. It's like punching your boss at work. Fun to think about, but unadvisable to actually do.